Director Ag and Turf, and today I'm with Myron in our service department and Charles in our parts department. And we want to talk to you a little bit about fuel and stabilizing the fuel and some of the effects if you don't go through the processes to stabilize your fuel. So Myron, in the spirit of that, uh, it's December 10th and we just got eight inches of fresh snow. And what's the number one phone call you're going to get the service department that morning? It's probably going to be my tractor cranks over and will not start. We've seen it's been sitting for several weeks and the fuel has probably gone stale. And what we see in the carburetor, it'll actually gum up and build, build varnish. And on the inside, it doesn't take too much and it will not start. And so typical tractor, walk behind snowblower, snowmobile, ATV, what's that going to cost me as a customer by the time we bring it in here, run it through, clean it out? What kind of a bill am I going to get? By the time we clean out the fuel tanks, because you have to do the whole fuel system, uh, you can probably figure an average of about $200. Is there anything special with the new fuels that, that we've got out here with the ethanol fuels that's making that different today at all? Uh, John Deere has recommended that we uh, keep our fuel supply under three weeks old, use uh, non-ethanol fuel if we can, or 10% or less. Okay. And that's the biggest help that we've had. So okay. Super. Charles, I bet you've got some solutions for these kinds of situations. The, the two products that we sell the most are the John Deere Fuel Stabilizer. Basically what that does is it helps stabilize the fuel. Um, the other product we sell is Seafoam. Um, that one does the stabilization and will also help clean some of the varnishes out of the carburetor that build up from, from sitting. Um, Seafoam we probably use more than we do the stabilizers just because of the cleaning part of it. But they both work well. So if I go to the gas station and get a five gallon bucket of fuel and I let that sit for a while, do I need to treat that? fuel before I put it in my equipment or how should I how should I go about that? We would recommend that you put the stabilizer right in the fuel can when you're getting the fuel that way you know it stays fresh. Um, that fuel is going to start breaking down in two to three weeks so once it's once it's already broke down it's not coming back. Okay well hey guys thanks for the tips today hopefully we've saved some customers uh, some money down the road.